Bellstoff really is one of those premium brands that we stock here at Urban Rider and have done for a long while. We are massive fans of their work, obviously. And if you've ever come into close contact with them, you're probably a big fan of them too. There's a style that they have, which is iconic to Bellstaff. There is a fit and finish that you just don't get with a few of their rivals or competitors. Um, that's hard to explain really, but honestly, when you pick it up, you try it on, move around in it, you can feel it, it is there, tangibly. There are a few items in their lineup that are instantly recognizable as Bellstaff, and I would say the Brooklyn's is probably one of those. So they've had this out for a long while. This one actually came out in 2016 for the leather version that you see here. This is the Bellstaff Brooklyn's Mojave hand waxed leather version of their long-standing wax cotton version, which has been around for a while. Instantly recognizable as Bellstaff and instantly recognizable as the Brooklyn's as well. Obviously they've taken the details and carried them over to this. So those being things like the quilting on the shoulders and the elbows, uh, predominantly actually the fit, the size of it, it's quite a short jacket. And of their entire lineup, I think this one is actually the jacket that suits me the best and definitely is the one that I would choose as a result of that. This one obviously finished in antique black. So when they say antique, it just looks a little bit more worn in, um, in a great, great way. So as soon as you grab it out of the bag, it will look like you've owned it for a little while. And then the longer you own it, it probably won't age much worse than this, to be honest with you. It's the sort of jacket that you would treat and keep on top of. So they have leather treatments for it. And of course, I would always recommend doing that with a jacket that you care this much about. It just keeps it looking better for longer. They also, if you prefer though, do it in a burnt cuero, which is a light kind of a brown, um, almost kind of like a tobacco brown, but that's quite a pretty color as well. For materials, they've gone for one to 1.1 millimeter thick bovine leather for the outer. It is pretty chunky and obviously chunkier in certain areas as well. As I say, you've got the quilting on the elbows and the shoulders to make it even more abrasion resistant. You've then got a Czech cotton liner on the inside, iconically bell stuff, and corduroy around your neck and your wrists to make it more comfortable as you're moving around in it. These are the areas where you're gonna be most mobile and obviously it might rub if it was anything else. Just to explain a little more on that waxed finish, often you'll find with some wax finishes, it's a bit too obvious and actually when you pick it up, you'll come away with greasy hands, which is never nice. Uh, this one, you can tell that it's on there. It makes the leather nice and supple, nice and soft, but it doesn't come away on your hands when you're picking it up and moving it around. Which from a selfish standpoint, I just appreciate because I don't have to keep washing my hands when I'm handling it. Bellstaff also like to partner their jackets with D3O. So this one also has D3O in the elbows and the shoulders. It has a pocket for a back protector, but doesn't actually come with one. If you've seen them before, I would always recommend going for the extra back protector and just sticking that in there. I mean, for safety's sake, it just makes sense anyway, but it's not too obvious. It doesn't make it look like you've got a hunchback, don't worry. It's subtle and not that noticeable from the outside. While we're talking about safety, it's good to know that this jacket has passed the CEA standard. I wouldn't pay too much attention to that because I think, to be honest with you, they are underselling themselves there. I would be very surprised if it didn't pass a higher rating. It's got that nice thick leather, it's got the extra abrasion resistance, it's got decent armor in it as well. So have no fear, it is a safe jacket. Feature-wise, looking around the jacket, first off, we have a few pockets. So you've got the two on the chest there with this overflap, which makes them more waterproof. Uh, the jacket itself isn't waterproof, but it's worth knowing that for the pockets. You've got these zip pockets around your waist, and then you've got one on the inside as your breast pocket for things like your phone and your wallet. You've also got that overflap on the chest, just over the zip. That's gonna help block out that airflow so it doesn't whip round through the zip itself. So it keeps it relatively warm. And I would say this is gonna do for the majority of riding seasons. You've got the Bellstaff logo on the snaps that run up the length of it there. You've got a collar, uh, which you can fasten across there and tighten if you need to. It's got that roll buckle on it, so it's relatively easy to use. And then you've also got a roll buckle on the bottom, which goes around your waist. Again, you can tighten that in but one of the nicer features on this, just because it shows their attention to detail, is you've got this leather flap that goes over the buckle, because of course, if you're leaning over the bike, you don't want that metal to start scratching your tank or metal parts on the bike. Then you've got YKK Zip with the Bellstaff logo on as well, and it's nice and big actually, which means that if you've got bike gloves on and you're not quite as dexterous as you would normally be, you're not gonna be faffing around with that for too long. You can get easy purchase on that. And as I've mentioned a few times, you've got the quilting on the shoulders and the elbows, and on the left side, you've got the Bellstaff logo subtly applied to the arm. And one of the other things you might miss is that you've actually got vents under your arm as well to help with breathability. For sizing, you'll see me moving around in a medium, which is such a comfortable fit for me. One of the most comfortable jackets 
that I've tried on. It's very specific to stature and my size and build, but for reference, I am 5 foot 10, 5 11 if I'm being generous. I'm a 38 to a 40 inch chest, and it is specific to me, but the taller jackets in the Bellstaff range don't complement my frame quite as much as the shorter Brooklands. If you're at all unsure of your sizing, then as I always say, we've got a comprehensive size guide on the website, so do check that out. So it's coming in for us at the moment at £1,025, which is a premium price, but as I always say with Bellstaff, it is a premium brand and it is a premium jacket. If you get it on, move around in it, sit on the bike with it, that's when you start to appreciate the attention to detail and the fit and finish of a Bellstaff jacket. And you're also paying for longevity because this really is the kind of jacket that will last your lifetime. Now leave your comments and questions down below if you want to, subscribe if you're new, and for more of the world's finest riding gear, stay tuned to Urban Rider. Thank you.